All right, welcome back to the Wade Farms. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Atlas 40 volt hedge trimmer. Thing's pretty nice. Nice tilting. Gotta do some more for that, so. That can just go right over there. One thing I do really like about this is the batteries. Let's talk about the batteries for a second. Now, the Atlas battery, the 40 volt, two and a half amp hour, 40 volt battery. I guess there's just nothing else simpler than that. Just take this, clip in there. <laughs> One thing I do like about these batteries, um, they're not the 80 volt batteries, even though this says 40 volt this can use an 80 volt battery too now um the harbor freight atlas tools gotta be careful you get an 80 volt tool you have to get an 80 volt battery for it but a 40 volt tool will also use a 40 volt 40 volt battery guess uh got some Bushes here that we need to trim up, so I guess let's get trimming. I'm not saying I'm the best at this uh, hedge trimming thing. Um, I trimmed this one. This one looks good. So I guess uh, this might be the pressure under the camera. It doesn't look bad. It looks a little squarey. Um, this one, I think I did a better job because I just used it like this and just maneuvered it around. So you got to take some time to get used to the tilting on it. All right, now we're going to try this one without this tilt function just to see if I can cut it better. I do notice some little patchy bald spots. It's uh, it's gonna take a little time to get used to this. This one doesn't look too bad. It looks like I cut it a little short there, but um, it takes uh, a little time to get used to. Like, see, these are they're a little long. They're still leaving some. And then um, you can kind of cut a little bit into the branches on the back to make a, a nice flat side. I did this one at night in the light shine of a pickup. I didn't do that good of a job on that one. But hopefully I'll do a better job on these ones.
Oh, I definitely didn't do a good job on this one. Oh, actually, it's okay. See, so it's definitely a learning curve. Um, we'll say it's a lot better than going to a PowerPoint like this and having to run an extension cord to it. I definitely like the battery Atlas. So far, been using it. She still has a full battery. I cut like five or six bushes with it. Um, yeah, I love this thing. It's awesome. All right, we'll do these last two over here, and it's not totally finished, but we we'll go around and finish them, and then we'll talk about it. All right, so far, I'm very impressed with the Atlas 40 volt um, hedge trimmer. I like it. This, uh, this GoPro in this case, and I think it was because of that, it is in this waterproof case and it does feel pretty hot um first time ever had a gopro shut off and overheat never ever have ever had a gopro shut off and overheat this one did i'm thinking it's because it was in this case closed in and airtight and it just you know sun got on it um and then if anybody wants to know how i put the thing on my hat i use this accessory which is a little heavy, but you'll get used to it. Um, I've always heard YouTubers say, oh, sorry, the video cuts my camera got, you know, cut off or something. And I always thought they were like, oh, you know, uh, you, you messed up, you sneezed or something, you, you know, excuse or something. But um, that was the first time that's ever happened to me. So I don't know, I guess, um, I was very surprised that it happened. Um, do you think they would make something so these things could keep cool? As long as that red light keeps flashing, which you guys can't see, but as long as that keeps flashing, it means it's recording, which means it's on, which means I'm getting my footage, which is good. Um, this thing, ah, uh, does just, you do that and you empty it out. The Atlas 40 volt hedge trimmer. I love this thing. I used it, let's see here, three, three on the battery and I used it for about 20, 30 minutes. This thing, I love it. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have an 80 volt option. I don't see why you'd need an 80 volt option unless you're almost practically cutting trees down with it, but plenty of power. Plenty of power to do whatever you need it to do, whenever you need it to do it. All right, so that was the Atlas hedge trimmer. This is the Atlas electric chainsaw. The Atlas electric chainsaw at Harbor Freight. Somebody got one of these, one of these batteries was just malfunctioning, um, malfunctioning. Um, I can't believe they gave it to us dirty, though. I was just looking at that. I just noticed that. It's all dirty. But it did come with some bar and chain oil in it. But, um, malfunctioning battery. And the guy just took the whole thing back. So, uh, a separate video will be coming on this. Probably in the winter. But, just to make sure. All 
All right, this works. 16 inch blade, 40 volt. This will also use the old 80 volt battery. This will also use the 80 volt battery. And you're wondering, what's this nice shiny piece of equipment? Well, wish I could tell you how it worked. But, anybody spot the problem? Anybody spot the problem? Well, I will tell you what. You buy 80 volt thing, you have to get an 80 volt battery. You buy a 40 volt thing, it will also run on an 80 volt battery. But this 80 volt will not run on this 40 volt battery. So be careful. Make sure you read up what you're doing when you do it. Um, we've got two 40 volts and we have this 150 horsepower blow, blow speed wind leaf blower. We got, there's an 80 and a 40 chainsaw. So we got the 40. We didn't need the 18 inch blade and plus had one that that guy took back. Um, and the Atlas, movable, 40 volt hedge trimmer. Um, battery clips, oh, I was putting it in the wrong way because I don't know what I'm doing. Battery clips right in, hold this power, this button. There is like a second delay, so we'll let you look at that. Look again. But overall, I like the Atlas 40 volt. Even has this little hand guard, so when you're holding on to it, you don't have some, you know, pickery pointer thingies and stuff come hit you up on the hand. This thing twists, means you can cut it down. However you like. Also, swings around the whole thing. So if you don't want this to swivel, just do this. Boom, cut, flip it over. Boom, cut, if not, flip this. This is right, boom, cut. So however you wanna use this thing, I really like it, it's so light. I'm gonna let two fingers, but we'll do a pinky. My pinky can lift it up. That's how light this thing is. Overall review on the Atlas hedge trimmer. I'm not the best at hedge trimming. Um, if I ever start a lawn care business and you need hedges trimmed, just hire somebody else to cut your heads, head, header. Uh, uh, it's so hot out, I'm, I'm losing my brain. Um, but yeah, overall review, I've never tested anything else, but I was like, oh, we got them, so I'll do a little test on it. Um, overall, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I like it. Our other one that you have to plug in, and you got an extension cord, and it's always in the way, and doesn't have this turning handle, which it's hard to get used to, I would... I've used it probably once. I haven't cut hedges that much in my life, but um, I'd probably get that one like a four out of 10. So this easily doubles the eight out of 10 I would give it. So um, that was the Atlas Hedge Trimmer Tool Review. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the Bell Post Notifications. You can buy all this stuff at Harbor Freight, 40 and 80 volt batteries. You're going to have to ask somebody, depending on what your store is, you're going to have to ask them to go get you one out of the back. But these should all be sitting up on display and make sure you don't make the 80 and 40 volt battery mistake on uh, the equipment you buy. Catch you guys next time. Wade Farms.